race number 11 at the Tri-Band Speedway, the reverse layout, a track that we've had a little bit of fun at in the past. It has been uh, quite the treacherous place. Who would have thought another triangular shaped track that just loves to kick our head in? But uh, hopefully it won't this time. Let's see if we can get this one underway across the line. Can we survive the turn one meme? No, we were never given the option, were we? Just packed from all angles, lifted up and up the bank and we went. We'll pull away after, I think we barely touched last. Oh, somebody's doing the spin a Rooney up here. It's Glenwood. What a fall from Grace. He started ahead of us. I guess we were all in the turn one crash, but man, that is just terrible. And Red Byron coming out of nowhere. Just from the woodwork, we missed the corner. Oh my, what the hell? Where was he going? You just flew by us at about Mach 3. Going to a different race. He's, he's going to race 12. He's already at the next track waiting for us. Oh, and there goes one getting launched. We're going to somehow avoid it all. Oh my God, it's just a maze of cars. And finally, our luck runs out. And Dale Sears going to pop us an extra one here. Will he flip us around? He actually will. And then he gets packed by the winner, Cole Custer. What a scene of brutality that was for Dale Sr. Can we just get the car home without dying? That, of course, is the main question and task. And this is some cars around in the final corner. We're going wide. We're going to get launched. Yep. That is just destiny when you hit one of those little concrete barriers, man. They're little launch pads. Survive the turn one, mean boys. That's all you got to do. And we kind of got pushed through on the inside. We're going to live. Some other guys are not. Somebody's standing up on their nose back there. That's kind of impressive. I give it a 10. I still give it a 10. Oh, oh Cole Custer coming back down on the track. Lifting us up. Watch out for the signboards. And we're right back in the thick of things getting packed. This is not what I signed up for. Some more cars getting launched. They're learning our lesson the hard way. There's a corner there. That was brilliant. That was five star worthy right there. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Oh, come on. She don't turn too good no more. This wall's not helping and this airtime certainly isn't helping either. That is a bit of a tire check right there. It's what that is. I'm wearing another one. Oh, it's been knocked out of me. And so has every ounce of sense that I ever had. We have just been sent into a twister and another one to boot. And that one ends our life. I don't think any amount of begging is really gonna help us down here in turn one. So I'm just gonna send it on the bottom and hope for the best. That seemed to work out for us and it's worked beautifully. I wish everything I did in my life went to plan like that. This would be tremendous. Oh my, the send of the century down there and it was a miss. The torpedo, oh my, Joey Gase though, with no regard for human life, but we're up in the air, we're on our side, and we're just digging in. We're doing all kinds of crazy stunts now, including getting bashed in the face. Oh, this is tremendous. That race couldn't have started any better, and it couldn't have gone to crap any faster as we just pack it into the back of Davey and collect a few more while we're at it, and I'm just dish two wheels at once. You cannot write this, ladies and gentlemen. You cannot script it, you cannot book it. Look at the state of me. Try to avoid any future double amputations right off the bat, if you'll please excuse me, Glenn, and everybody else here as we're sliding up on two wheels. All right, not as good of a start, but a decent one here. Can I get Byron? Mr. Bill, let me get, oh my God, what? The physics of that didn't even make sense. I just got obliterated for no good reason whatsoever. I have no explanation. If you'd like to provide me one, please do. Oh my, where are I? I thought I missed the corner bat earlier. What in the hell was that back there? Many questions are to be brought up about this matter. Any second now, our leaders get across that line and win the race though. And there it is, Wreckfest legend. Reed Sorensen gets it done. Can we pick off Jeffrey Earnhardt here in the last corner? That would be interesting. And there's some cars that might help us or hurt us. Not gonna do anything for us actually. So at least we'll maintain our sixth place finish. And at least we finished. Thank Jesus for that. I think the plan of attack this time might be to just send it in there on the corner panel. Of Ken's hit here, kind of get pushed in myself with the torpedo send. And we're up on two wheels, but we'll weasel our way back onto four and weasel our way into the fourth position. And that was another somewhat solid start as Glenwood wipes himself out again. And Tony Stewart and I are going to meet in the middle. He comes down. All right, come into the corner at the wrong time. We're gonna break through a barrier, running through brick walls over here. Getting run through by the field and smacked. Still get me out of the way, please. 
Taking detours out here. It's still getting run over by, I think that was Cole Custer. Moonlighting as Cole Trickle. How fitting is that? You decide. So then we make these 15 spots up. A start out again. A, such another hot start that, oh my good God, me and Tony Stewart have had another one. The field just erupted in front of me right there. That was like an actual natural disaster and I've somehow wound up in an even bigger mess here. Look at this, it's, it's part two of the big one. There might have even been a part three in there and we've lost. Well, I mean, that's really not that surprising. And, oh my God, the hits just keep on coming. Is this the long one? Do I need to roll an Applebee's commercial right now? What is happening? Oh, get out of, jeez. It's just obliteration here at Tribend. You might need to shield your eyes. This is brutality in its most pure form. Tony Stewart again taking a swipe at me, this guy. I'm losing control of my own mind here. I'm losing brain power by the millisecond as we're gonna have to get by these lappers here. We're gaining spot, and I somehow managed to flip on nothing. And I just become the bottom of a trash pile as every sign in the universe just fell on top of me right there. I think I've had my race ruined in every conceivable way though. I don't know that it can really be topped. Quite how many times we've gotten through that corner is also something that should be chronicled. I love how I can just have a random sentence and it just goes on. I don't even know how I do it, folks. Don't ask me, because we take Glenn Wood out again. Glenn Wood has not had a clean start in the history of his life, according to this game. It has just never been ever worth even trying to stay clean for him. And you know what? I respect it. Sometimes you just gotta go for chaos. Sometimes you just have to choose violence. Like, like Cole Custer is right now by sliding up into the path of cars that are gonna take him out of the race case in point what is he doing he's playing dangerous games living life on the edge threw it all the way handed to me on a silver platter which these wreckfest ai seem to be quite fond of doing from time to time is this gentleman dalen hart senior did not even try to make that corner and now in the last corner we've got to worry about carl edwards willie brad keselowski yes or should we do it to ourselves across the line in the air getting a sweet sweet dub well, that was a bit of a blink and you'll miss it dub almost a rapid fire series of events that got us to the lead and before you know it it was last lap and we won well right into race number 12 we will go here at the dirt devil stadium kind of a fan favorite and a wreckfest classic at this point and of course a triangular themed track that is sure to kick our teeth in once again so we're not even halfway yet well the only way to do it is to get through it so send it on the outside see what happens seems like it usually benefits us here in the early stages, but this is where the free for all begins. And speaking of right on cue, here's some destruction. Little mechanical chaos for us to sneak away from, actually. We've kind of made it out of there alive, but there's a little bit more appearing in front of us. Wheelie and getting tossed around while sticking the hind, well, I guess standing on the hind legs, sticking the front ones up in the air. We'll get this thing spun around as we have lost all kinds of time, millions of seconds and just launched a pack into the back of Denny Hamlin right there. That was a torpedo missile, tomahawk missile, whatever you want to call it. I guess torpedoes are about jobs. Okay, that was a torpedo. Thank you for the demonstration, Denny. Actually couldn't have asked for a better one myself. That was a torpedo said what I did was a tomahawk said, and it actually is kind of disturbing. I think the AI may be getting sentient and I am very concerned about that, but I'm very concerned about this as well don't fall into the pit we are alive i can't believe it. I, you can't really tell but quinn is right behind me our classic arch nemesis well not really classic because a couple other guys hold that title but our recent arch nemesis across a couple games is trying my patience i do kind of need something terrible to happen to brett something terrible is about to happen to me and there it is just a picture perfect landing and that's gonna land us in the pit of forgotten trash down here that's grand we've officially lost the race that was Haley Deegan who was looking like she was gonna take my spot she went down the pit with me I don't think she's cool enough to get out like I just did so sucks to be you I guess we'll go ahead and limp this piece of trash to the line all things considered 
Second place, that's not bad. If I don't get run over by fools at the start, we might have a shot here. Only the AI could learn that if they just turned a little bit to the right, they'd find another lane they could use and maybe not hook me in the process. That'd be nice. I'm still getting hooked. By Ward, Burton tried to send me down to the Forgotten Pit. Killed all my momentum. I've seen him treat snakes nicer than he just treated me. Oh, they love this corner, don't they? Oh, and Kenseth gets ricocheted. He pays the ultimate price for it. Oh, and more guys are flying at every... Jeez, that was... That was a sight to behold up here in front of us. Cars flying in every direction. A tire check for everybody up here in front of... Oh, Quinnoof just... Quinnoof just with ghost mode on us right there. That may require an F in the chat. We're not sure. Clint Boyer's career needs an F in the chat, although he's going to probably save the Fox booth, so good for him. Oh, Conway extended his way across the track. Get out of my... F oh, we're down in the pit. Right in the pile of trash where we maybe possibly belong. Kawiki's down here. He definitely doesn't belong there. That's a travesty. Somebody get that man a respawn stat. I got a Terminator stalking me from behind there, probably waiting to get the kill. I'm terrified right now of everybody. Oh, and it's the last lap, too. I've got to gain 11 seconds on me. Oh, he's losing all kinds of time. Sorensen's dropping. And now Ward Burton. There, it's the lead, and I just power bomb. I don't know, what, they, what would you call that? But that was a leg drop, a swanton bomb. I don't know. I haven't watched wrestling in a few years. That, however was a, a superplex. I don't know what you would call these maneuvers anymore, but this is just becoming an absolute brawl. And it's only going to continue to get worse, it seems. Let's get out of here. Let's get our tires on the ground, please. Maybe. Possibly. Potentially. And wouldn't you look at that. The gods of Wreckfest blessed us on this day. They freed us after costing us any chance we had at the race. And still... Knocking us off the bat. They did shine down upon us ever so slightly. We got to appreciate that. We got to take that for what it's worth. I'm taking this for what it's worth, which is absolutely nothing. Garbage. Throw this run in the trash. Where it belongs. Worthless. Useless. Oh, can't even talk anymore. Driving me mad. Let's just carry this pile of sadness across the line. Already. I don't even have the front of a car anymore. The front of my car is just gone. It left. It took off. It's seen better things, and it went to go do them. Real neat. Give me that restart push. There we go. We got the restart gear in this thing for sure. And look at Quinn starting the race from P1. Dude, we got to watch out for him. We got to watch out from the blocks for Reed Swords. And he's hooking Bubble Wallace. We're getting hooked. Got tipped barely there, but we hold. Oh, I was going to say we hold on to it, but then we got set into a serious set of twists. Oh, and then we get. We just got squeezed up into the air. Squeezed across the sky, if you will. Wait a scene there, Brad Kozlowski failing to make the corner. That's something I hate to see, but I will carry on. So we've got a race to win. What a bounce that's going to be. That's a great one for the old spinal cord right there. The vertebrae's just fused a few of those bad boys. Somebody up here just hit the wall and disappeared, and they went to another realm and then came back. What? Huh? I beg your pardon. That was the craziest thing I ever seen. Ward Burton just went to the Shadow Realm and then was just like, psych. That was that was remarkable. That might be one of the most incredible things I've ever seen in, in Wreckfest. And what a way to see it than here in the gauntlet. Ward Burton might be Doctor Strange. Oh, this is strange. This is this is bad. This is a wreck and a half. We are gonna land it on the wheels, though. End over end. Don't stop us. It may stop us from winning, though, because Denny Hamlin is now pulling away. And we're now pulling it back. Did something happen to Denny? Oh, I think something might have happened to Denny. We are, well, we were reeling him in. Let's see if we can get up there and at least get our name in the hat if this thing comes down to it. And it looks like it might. He's losing more time. Might be one of these cars stuck up against the pole here. And then Quinn just takes out the wall. Here, Quinn, take this right to the ass. A packery that has got me posed up against the wall, but it will not matter. A quick reset will get us out in the lead denny and all the boys back there just threw away an easy win and we could see it coming back to us from a mile away and off of the final corner with a couple scrubs ahead of us we will get dub number 12 and then knock down the wall after the race is over to the replay booth we go and you'll see that dub number 12 was not easily collected we went across the sky 
I guess the theme of things was flying across the sky today because we get massive air here and just a Olympic level landing that you'd see out of professional gymnastics, you'd say. Well, how about this for a classic track we haven't seen in a little while, the Pitfall Extreme. And because it's a little bit outdated now, some of the things don't work. The lights are definitely broken, but the track itself is functional, so we are gonna get to it. Give Terry on the opening shunt there and we'll sneak by, and there they go. They line it up right into the pole. No ability to move out of the lane, unfortunately, apparently, and they uh, they go piling it up back there right from the start. See if we can hit the ramp here for a little style points to take the lead. A little Hatsy's on the ramp. So we're edging out Kowicki here for the lead, and we're gonna thread the needle behind Brooks to barely stay on the track here. And we have got the lead kind of early. We gotta hold on to this thing. This car loves bottom and now. Should we hit another jump though? There we go. We gotta hit the jumps for style points. That's our goal. Oh, the bottoming out is incredible. Oh, God, come, no, please. No, not from the lead. That's embarrassing. That is, that was looking like it might've been a one shot, one race, one win. Instead, I'm in the pit. And this is a serious pit. Look at that. Are we, I think we got a wheel still. Hold on, we might actually be in this. I thought we lost a wheel. We've just been lowered a few inches. That's okay, I guess. I'm gonna try and rechase down Kawiki. And I'm actually all right with this. You know what? We're not totally out of this thing yet. Oh, that was close. Come on, Conway. Extend yourself out of my way, please. Am I ever going to stop making extends jokes? Probably not. Especially when I'm just going to take L's like I do now. So we'll take third. That's not much of an L if you're on the podium, right? Chase Elliott just saying, screw my life right now. Literally deciding not to go on the start. What in God's name was that, Chase? I beg you the question. And I beg to know what just happened to the rest of the field. Why am I in the lead? How did I just mosey my way into the lead after being held up? And then I got people running in the back of me now. Either be slow or be fast. Pick one, people. Come on. I'm over here. I'm probably going to wreck myself in the lead because that's what I do best on. Oh, Cole Custer taking matters into his own hands and maybe a few lives too my all right well hey maybe he's gonna make a race out of this maybe he listened to me cole custer winning races in his rookie year out here i believe it might have a challenge guess i'm just gonna go half seas on all these ramps till i learn my lesson and maybe this will finally teach me how did i lose that much time how did i lose almost three seconds from that i think we just hit a time warp something about that doesn't even make sense Who's doing donuts over here? Mark! Oh, Junior Johnson. <laughs> Getting this thing sliding. Come on, Junior. I'm not going to let you beat me. I cannot lose to a man whose name is Junior Casey. Mears, if you don't get out of the way, do not be playing Bloxies for Junior, please. Oh, God. Bottoming out. You got to be kidding. We're both flying off the side. I just got my head caved in. Oh, I really just got my head caved in the second time. Good God, man. That's, that's just grotesque. At least I don't got anybody hitting the brakes on me this time. I got that. I got Chase running me off the road. That's a holy another Chase. If it's not one Chase, it's the other. We are looking at an attack of the Chase's situation, and I'm hitting every branch on the way down from the stupid tree. Holy crap. I've got four wheels. I've got four wheels. Hallelujah. Somehow, some way, I almost crashed into that pole because I wasn't looking. And I got four wheels. This race is shot. I don't know how you can fall into the just super pit of death and destruction. But somehow we just did, and we're living to tell the tale about it. So we'll, we'll ask questions later. Currently, we must try and see if there's anything to be saved from this race, he was going to say before life came and smacked him in the mouth just like that beam did and sends us in an entirely different direction and we just pack our own ass in right on the ground and that finally snags a wheel off of us too because uh good god what a twisted metal mess How about swiper no swiping you damn maniacs and another one <laughs> what have i done to deserve this what are my sins wreckfest gods Oh, God, and we just get flattened to death. God. 
pace you were running might end up being iconic for how god dang accurate it is. It's actually frustrating. And then we just once again waltz into the lead. Fine with me. If we can get a full second here out on Chastain, Watermelon Man. And now, oh boy, this looks fun up here. Let's see if we can just go ahead and sling ourselves right by it and almost put ourselves head on the wall. All right. Narrowly avoid disaster there. Good God, whoever that was was flattened as well. They've had a rough ride, I would say. This thing loves bottoming out. But last lap, come on. I can smell it. God, I, can, I can feel the bottoming out getting worse and worse. Got Bill Elliott doing donuts on the bottom there. We'll do a little half seas on the ramp. Got Chase Cabre back here. I think it's said. We got Ricky Craven over here. Man from one of the most classic finishes of all time. We're, are we gonna have a classic Atlanta finish at Pitfall here? We're, we're driving terrible right now. Oh, we're crashing into poles. Oh, come on, get it in gear. No, we're gonna lose. No. We just got punked by Kevin Conway. And I mean, absolutely punked by Kevin Conway. Please don't put me in the pit. Please don't put me in the pit. All right, we have survived. The danger zone, or at least the initial one. Run up on that high bank, get that run off the high side. I think the game as a test has given me Mark Martin. Oh, well, I was gonna say it had given me Mark Martin as uh, the second place car, but he has been promptly removed and uh, I think discarded of back there. Oh man, over rotate that, <laughs> that thing, it's easy to do. How jumpy it is as well, but white flag in the air, cross the stripe. Send it in. Oh, that's a dive and a half, and we're lucky to not ram a car that was laying there. And we have somehow made it out alive, and I think, barring any other stupid moves, which I'm going to try my best not to do, and we'll have the company of Wendell Scott through the final corners. We should come out of this end. We'll take a jump for the style points over here. Come on. We'll hit the jump. And to the stripe, we're home free. Dub number 13, lucky number 13, puts us in the pole, and we're past halfway. Ever wonder what it looks like when a car falls from the heavens down to a black abyss below and lands head first, shattering some wheels directly off the car? Well, now you know. Here in Wreckfest, we have all kinds of destruction to fill your needs. Well, getting ready here for race number 14 on our gauntlet lineup. We're back at the Stockton 99 Speedway for the other loop track that we mentioned that we would do earlier. We are here for the loop of death. And uh, this one ought to be a mess. Do, 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 do. Oh, God, turn. Please turn for this. Okay, guys. Good God. Hello. First run at this track one thing for me to blow it it's another thing for literally the rest of you to come piling in and there goes the suspension pretty much right off the bat i love using up the car before we even get to the first straightaway let alone the loop which will now launch ourselves into probably to our demise and what do i know there goes the wheel our cars love to just grind to death on that loop they live for it i don't know if i can continue on in this race we just gotta put that back wheel down it looks like come on Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lighting ourselves up for the T-bone. That's what I love to see. Or hate. I don't know. I don't know anymore. The line got blended long ago. We're going to keep our foot in it because that's all we know. And just getting dumped and eradicated. This is also something we're well versed at. Oh, oh and here comes the death. We've been killed. A literal death on the first run does kind of scare me though, not gonna lie. This, however, much better start. Much better start. Uh, uh, save for Kawiki. Running me clean through the wall, but maybe getting hooked into a loop de loop. Not high on my list of things I want to do. Please land this. We do. Give me every style point you have in your possession. I now am the rightful owner. That was tremendous right there. Could pull that off again if you tried. And the fact that I'm only 14th should be a crime punishable by removal of all four wheels, which is probably what's gonna happen to us trying to dive into this mess. Ah, oh boy, this is the fun part of this track where everybody just piles up in the loop for the rest of eternity. 
And we have indeed lost the wheel. As is tradition, tire checks do come in all shapes and sizes. They <laughs> they usually come quite painfully though. That's usually the telltale sign. This that the loop is literally not even an option anymore. It's just too big dummies polluting it all. And we've lost the race, so no matter what choice we make, it's pretty much shot. Can we even make it through the hoop? We do. And we will actually come home to a fit. Never mind. No, we won't. I feel completely and utterly cheated by that one. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to land underneath Kowicki, too. We're just going to go ahead and stack ourselves up with him. Little ass pack to just mouth right there. That's filth, and it's just complete epitome. And this... I don't know what you could call that move. That might actually more accurately represent a Swanton Bomb from our earlier racing at the Triangle. And now we can't even get up the loop. Oh, Mayfield just running through me. And I've been perched up where I can do nothing. And this is just going to be a grand old time trying to survive this mess. Again, I welcome you to the part where everybody just gets stuck for all of eternity. It has come once again. I literally cannot get up. Oh, they finally give me the, the run up that I need. And then I'm, of course, hitting the brakes and ready to back up for that one. So this has all just gone incredibly according to plan, including me getting blasted in the face right there. And of course, you saw the ripping of the wheel. It's gone, as well are my hopes and dreams. And what a just hellacious pile up that we are witnessing currently. Shield your children's eyes, will you please? I think the loop really just needs a good exorcism, honestly. Maybe a little retooling of the AI path, but mostly an exorcism. I just got deja vu there. Kawiki running me through the wall again. Can we get through this this time? No, we cannot. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate your patience and working with us all to get through here safely. I really appreciate the teamwork being ex just exhibited by all of us. It takes all of us, don't you know? It's going to take all of us to put me down. And it's not from a lack of trying. They haven't done it already because I'm going for a roll. Take a look at me. Only I can flip in the normal part of the racetrack. But these are just sound head things. And we come to expect them. They are normal. Completely normal. No artifacts to be found here. Regan Smith has won the race. I have just planted it in the wall for no good reason. And then Sterling Marlin making me feel a little bit better about myself. Goes and, goes and does it right behind me. I appreciate that, Sterling. I appreciate it. Knowing I'm not the only buffoon out here is a bit helpful. We'll land her in the fence and we'll come home in eighth. Just disgusting. Everybody just go ahead and mind your business up there. Stay the hell away from me down here. Oh, I'm gonna flip on my own. I literally go out of my way to avoid destruction. And somehow I'm my own worst enemy and I just, I find it and I create it. And I create a smacking for Kowicki right there. How oh, the turntables have turned on you, my friend. And he got smacked in the mouth and we're falling from the ceiling of the roof. Or the ceiling of the roof. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. I am a master of the English language, in case you haven't picked that up by now as we glide underneath whoever that was twirling through the air. That was tremendous. Oh, I should open a driving school for how talented I am. Just look at this skill. Harry Gann over here hitting the brakes for me. That lane is completely blocked. I just put my passenger door into a tire. That's a tire check, count it. And we just gained a bunch of spots because we knew which lane to pick. That's beautiful. That is not something that can be replicated by the Terminators. They're not quite there yet. They cannot make a simple yes or no decision. Is this track block? Yes or no? Luckily we can. And I think that's gonna get us to the lead maybe here shortly if we didn't wad it up right there. The world's most unnecessary crash. And we're coming down to the wire here. Come on, we were looking like we were gonna have it there. And it gets away from us right at the end. We're gonna fight for second place, but Mayfield edges us out for the win, and good God, we get sent into a twister of a flip at the end. I think it's safe to say we're getting through the delirious portion of the playthrough. And the fact that we're on run 14 of 25 is in 
entirely worrying. Much like the scene unfolding ahead of us once again, as I get launched into a beautiful backflip here. Thank you, everybody. Another tremendous effort. Smash my car to bits before the first lap is even over. It's a, it's a love tradition. Oh man, they are just gonna block that one up all the way. I'm not letting them get me on any stupid mistakes though this time. I am going to race as cleanly as I can. If I have to put Sterling in the fourth row of the grandstands, I will, but I'm going to try and refrain. I think we can do this cleanly. Did the leader just, is that Infinger that just wrecked himself right there? He just spun himself out. Sterling just made the wrong decision and we have just been gifted the win. <laughs> Barring that I get through these last couple of corners here. Let me not speak too soon. We have been gifted a win once again. What a bunch of dummies. Well, up now is the 15th race here in our Gauntlet 2.0, and we have arrived at the Ukiah Speedway for the figure eight with ramp layout. I was going to do the high banked oval, but the AI seemed to be a little bit stupid and they can't really drive that. Hopefully these figure eight AI will spare us some stupidity, but they're putting the squeeze on us and tire checking each other into infinity. Literally into another dimension with that one, but it's okay. We slide up into the top 15, bop. Well, then Jared out of the way. We got Morgan Shepard up here, our boy, roller skater. Boy, we're gonna flip over Eric Jones. Just abused him, dropped him on his head. Now we're slamming doors with everybody we see. Well, let's get that gas down across the intersection here before this thing starts getting ugly. A bunch of cars just miss the corner entry. A couple of them missing the corner exit. Having trouble all over. Uh, we just tipped Bubba Wallace. Sorry, Bubba. Oh, we're gonna pull it right in the door of Mark Donahue. Come on, get the recovery. Get that thing back in gear. Let's go. Let it, oh, come on. There we go. All right, nothing to panic about. Nothing to freak out about. We're still in the top five, in the top three now. With uh, about a lap and a half to go in this contest. Oh, and that's gonna be a hit in the intersection. That's what we've all been fearing. Oh, and some more hits. We're gonna shorten my suspension up. Oh, John Andre, where are you going? He just made a choice for the wall. I'm driving underneath Bubba. Oh, we do not need to be three wide in the intersection. 12 tires, not better than four, no matter what you might think. And Bubba's just hooking me. Trying to get rid of me as quickly as possible. It is, why does so many of these guys just choose violence? Why, especially you, Morgan. And Mark Donahue's won, he's beating us. I think I'm stuck on the platform. I can't even get out of here. Get me out of here, please. Just get me to the line. It's all falling apart right at the end. And that uh, is gonna be that as we're getting shoved to the finish, pushed across the line. And we snag a few spots extra in 12th. Oh, Clint, get a move on everybody. Little mini tire check there, much smaller one than the first one. We're allowed to just squeak up the inside here and a little payback there for the roller skating legend himself. He's coming back, but he's not done. This might be the greatest rivalry in all of sports by the time that I up and retire one day. Morgan Shepard may have caused us the most pain in the history of our lives. It's gonna be close between him and Mark Martin. Nobody's causing me any pain right now. If anything, I'm causing pain to Todd Gill and I'm gonna dump him and take the lead. What an absolute trash bag I am. And then I just cleaned somebody out of the intersection. He walks it off. Just did a perfect 360, just kept going, I think. We have got legendary things taking place here at the intersection. This, however, is not gonna get us through as clean. But we do drive away. We are having a tremendous effort this run. This could be it. This could be a real quick dub. Have a nice clean intersection there. Get that thing to rotate, come on. Oh boy, gotta watch out for the line. Oh, we just got heat seeker. That burger crime car did indeed commit crimes to come find me. Didn't even try to make the intersection. Made a dive for my door and my life. All in one foil swoop and I'm still getting knocked around. And Lake Speed just gets pummeled. And look at me and my boy, Morgan Shepard. So we meet again as everybody's getting blasted in the intersection. Cars flying everywhere. 
And this is a battle for the lead right here, actually. John Andretti is going to pull us by a little bit. We got to get a move on here. They're putting themselves on the wall. Kevin Conway's going to squeak us out again. No. How is this possible? As far as I knew, before today, Kevin Conway's career highlight was getting sued by Extend. So, I mean, he has just elevated himself into the upper echelons of Wreckfest Terminators. I mean, he's becoming just quite the rival out there as we're four wide in the intersection just about and getting swang around and just stuffed into. And still so many AI are just choosing to plant themselves on the wall for no good reason to tire check each other. I'm amazed that wall of tires behind us hasn't been touched yet. It's kind of a miracle we made it a whole lap without that happening as I try to send it on park and he's gonna hook me into the wall. Just plant me head on, face first, teeth meet concrete, and I'm getting swallowed from behind and shots are being taken, swipes are being swiped. But I said swiper, no swiping earlier. It's not gonna protect Clint Boyer from my swipes and I have shot myself in the foot here. Because we're taking ourselves out of this race more than anybody else right now, but they're trying. They're certainly trying, which maybe speaks to how much I've screwed myself out of this one, maybe. Let's get it back in gear, though, as I'm getting, getting bad touches from behind. Please, everybody get off of me. The intersection's getting a little dicey right there. And this exit, this corner exit. They don't really seem to know what to do about this. AJ, I'm going to let you take the L, and I'm going to follow you into one as well. Oh, no. Come on. We're going the wrong way. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Turn around. No. All right. I think this run is officially screwed. Probably because of that right there. Couldn't even get the car. Turn around. I'm getting the world's slowest speed pit maneuver right there. Along with maybe the world's most unnecessary one. And I at least appreciate the turnaround here. I do appreciate that. Couldn't tell you what does because their race is over. Well, my God. I feel like I'm about to have a brain aneurysm over here. This is only race 15. At least we're done. Barrel roll across the finish, why don't you? We somehow got a top 10 out of that. Give me that slick little crossover move, a little mini pack into the back of Ned here. Ned's declassified figure eight survival guide would be very handy right about now. However, I don't think it's coming. What is coming is a four wide squeeze. Oh, Kevin Conway, my man. He knows how to just hold me up, doesn't he? He might be the best of all time. Mark Martin and Shepard may have to take a seat just like all these fine gentlemen right here piling themselves into the wall. And that allows us in the top five by doing almost absolutely nothing. And sometimes that's all it comes down to. You can drive a clean race and just let it come to you. Just like I came to Ned Jarrett. And we nearly space forced each other right there, but we kept it low enough. We kept it in low Earth orbit. We did not leave the Earth's atmosphere this time. This time. Being key words there, but it will happen. And something interesting happening is that we're in second, and look who is in first. It's my actual boy. It's Brad Keselowski, and there we go. We have taken the lead. Just like that. And Mark Donahue with the rolling roadblock just to try and put an end to that, but he will not. We'll take the white flag and look who we've got to outrun. It's Kevin Conway in second, followed by Morgan Shepard. It is an absolute mess behind us. And Carl Edwards with the roadblock. Carl, how could you? I am getting rubbed. Eric Jones is trying to play roadblock. Literally, they are playing roadblock to let Kevin Conway back in this fight. I will not allow it. And neither will they by the looks of it. They finish him off. We sneak through. We've got 15 dubs. We had to jump back in the replay booth for this one, didn't we? To check out the intersection action as we went on our way to 15 dubs. Got 10 more to go. 10 more dubs is all it's gonna take to get to the promised land and hoist our, I, I don't know what we're gonna hoist, but we're gonna hoist something and we're gonna hoist it real high in victory in sweet sweet victory